Hi, I'm Elizabeth with Stanley. I am one of the co-founders of Locus Projects and am currently uh, working as the submissions coordinator um, for a few of our open calls. Uh, this session is about the Lab MFA open call, which is an opportunity for this summer, um, the summer of 2023, for uh, any currently enrolled graduate students in studio art. So I'm gonna um, share my screen and we're gonna go through the application um, together. So Locust Projects um, moved to a new building um, recently. And here's a picture of the outside of it. Um, this has changed the open call for the Lab MFA this year slightly um, as we are just getting into the new space and figuring out how it's configured. Um, we made a few amendments to uh, what the Lab MFA program will be this year. Um, so it's important to understand uh, Locust Project's mission. Uh, Locust Project is an arts incubator producing and presenting exhibitions, programs, and projects. Our, missions is, our mission is to create opportunities for visual artists at all stages of their career, invite risk-taking and experimentation, activate conversations around new art and ideas, and advocate for artists and their creative practices. Uh, this particular opportunity invites graduate level artists. So that means um, you can be at any stage of your graduate uh, studies. You could have just started this semester or this semester could be your very last semester. Um, just as long as you're currently enrolled in an MFA program, um, you are able to submit to this opportunity. Um, so this is a, a residency project for this summer, 2023. Um, this uh, opportunity um, should be an expansion of your practice, um, conceptual scope, scale, and media. Um, proposals should reflect new work that will be created for this opportunity that's never been presented before. Um, and created on site. Uh, Locust Projects is a commissioning organization. We commission artists um, to create new works. So the Lab MFA falls into that, um, that pool that we're, uh, that's still what we're doing. Um, priority will be given to projects that demonstrate um, exceptional, unique methods, processes, concepts, um, particularly that could not be presented in a traditional gallery setting. Um, and this year we have a focus on social practice, performance, um, thinking about different ways of using the space. Um, and uh, so this year's residency and exhibition opportunity focus on art and social practice, offering current MFA students across disciplines, the time, space, and resources to be in residence for up to four weeks as part of the ongoing R&D Mobile Studio series. The goal of the residency is to allow experimentation that creates a jumping off point for staging performances, um, artist activations, happenings, uh, within our new space in our new home. Uh, it's not a dedicated exhibition installation commission um, like it has been uh, somewhat in the past years, but it's an adaptable and responsive multi-layered project responding to the new facility in the neighborhood. Uh, so this opportunity will be from June 20th to July 21st, 2023. Um, you will have the ability to be near the gallery, be in the gallery, um, create your, your project during that time. So what are we looking for? We are looking for um, a CV uh, just with your uh, contact information, um, your exhibition history, any, anything related to your practice. Uh, we're looking for a project proposal of 250 words, an artist statement, 150 words, 
um, and four images that uh, can be recent related work. It can be uh, an ex some type of visual example of what you're proposing. It's up to you how you want to use those images. Um, you can also, if you have video um, based work, uh, there's a there's a part in the application where you can put in video links. Um, you can, uh, you know, just note, uh, you know, link it to YouTube or, or things like that. You're not going to upload video content. Um, and then we're looking for a letter of recommendation from a current professor. Um, some professors uh, feel more comfortable um, sending that directly to us um, and not sending it to you, which is fine. Uh, they can email the letters directly to me at submissions at locustprojects.org. Um, in your submittable application, you'll just need to upload a document that says, my recommendation letter is coming from this professor's name. Um, and then when I get the email, I will link it to your application. Um, so the project proposal, what are we looking for in the project proposal? Um, we want to know what you're proposing. <laughs> uh, so just explain it to us in a clear and easy and understandable terms. Um, what medium or mediums are you using? Uh, what is the conceptual idea that you're trying to convey? And how do you see your idea being realized? Um, you only have 250 words to, you know, get this idea out to us. So, um, you know, just be really concise with, um, you know, what your what your proposed project is, so that we can easily understand it. Um, here's a picture of the inside of the space. Uh, right now, the 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 uh, the gallery is open. It's a very open floor plan. Um, the high school uh, lab program will be going on at the same time as the lab MFA program. And they'll be using a large portion of, of the space. Um, so that's why we're looking for ideas that are a little bit more flexible about exactly you know, where they are in the space or just that it's more focused on the idea and less about you know, sort of a fine exhibition space. Um, again, there's the outside of the building. Um, it's great to look at um, some past works. This was the 2021 uh, Lab MFA artist. Um, and she did a project that I would say maybe is a little bit closer to the the type of thinking that we're we're uh, wanting for this year. Um, she asked uh, people in the local community to come by and um, provide an object that was important to them, and she encased it in sugar. Um, so it she activated the space in a different way. It wasn't about um, necessarily this uh, end product exhibition. It was more about the process and um, this sort of in, uh, communal interaction. Um, here's a few past um, MFA um, artists, and this was in our old space in the project room. Um, so the artist statement, what would we like to know in the artist statement? Uh, we'd like to know about your practice. What is your work about? How do you work? Um, do you start with a concise idea and execute it? What is your process? Um, is your work affected by the process of creating it? Uh, is your work specific to a particular medium? How does the viewer play a role in how you present your work? I see you only have 150 words for this. Um, so again, being very concise and direct so that we can understand um, we can understand you as an artist and you know what your work is about. A letter of recommendation. Um, 
to go over this a little bit more, letter of recommendation is really important in that one of the questions that we're trying to answer when we review the applications is how does this proposed project fit into your MFA work? Um, so your professor is probably going to be one of the best people um, to uh, give us some insight on that. Uh, so I would make sure that the professor that you ask knows the project that you're proposing. Um, obviously, they're going to be familiar with your work. So if they could put it in some context so we can understand and help answer that question of, of how this is a new project, how it's a stepping off point from something that you're doing, how it's it's um it's expanding your practice um so again uh, they can send the letters directly to me at submissions at locustprojects.org um, or you can upload them into your application um, if they send them to you directly um, either will work fine the image samples um, image samples are really up to you in terms of what best tells your story? What best supports this project that you're proposing? Do you have examples of past work where we can look at them and understand, okay, they have done this before and I, I see, you know, they can take those skills or that knowledge from that project and I see that it's leading towards this proposed project. Um, those samples can be whatever you want them to be. They they can be uh, some type of visualization of the proposed project, um, examples of past work. It's up to you how you want to um, present yourself and how you want to uh, tell your story with the application. And again, video links. Um, you just have to scroll further down on the form and uh, there's a spot for them. Um, your CV is pretty straightforward, um, just up-to-date information. Um, it's just, again, just to give us an idea of, uh, you know, what have you done before? What is the, the scope within you've been working? Um, and most importantly, your contact information. <laughs> Uh, so there, we put together a new committee every year um, for these open calls. Uh, so the committee will consist of um, artists that have shown at Locust Projects before, a local curator, and what they are looking for um, in your proposal is they're going to rate it on um, these bullet points below. Uh, what is the conceptual strength of, of the project you're proposing? Uh, what is the feasibility? Um, you don't actually have to submit a budget for this one, um, but we do need to understand, uh, you know, it's something that you could complete within the time frame. Um, and within, you know, we there is um, a production budget associated with it. So if it seems like, the project that you're proposing would cost way more than uh, the budget that we've provided. Um, you know, that will uh, probably give you a lower ranking in the feasibility category. Um, how does the proposed project relate to the artist's uh, past work? Are they, opposing, uh, uh, are they proposing a new approach? Um, so we're going to get some of this information from that recommendation letter, um, from the materials that you're providing for us, your project description, and the image samples. Um, those are the, the three things that are going to help us answer this question. Uh, and is there a unique risk-taking approach which the artist understands where they fall into art history? Um, you know, we want to make sure that... Uh, there's something, um, some new ground uh, that that you're exploring, but new ground not just for you, but new ground that's not um, representative of uh, another artist's work. Uh, so we have um, just updated the deadline. 
and changed it to Sunday, April 30th. We were getting a lot of questions and a lot of people um, had found out about the opportunity late and had, were having trouble getting their recommendation letters in time. Um, so we have extended it. Uh, we will not accept any proposals after uh, April 30th. Please do not wait till the last minute. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me directly at submissions at locustprojects.org, and I am happy to answer them. Um, and there, there's the email address again. <laughs> um, so that concludes this short uh, info session for today. Um, hopefully uh, that um, provided some insight for you and it will help you in your application process. Uh, now I'm going to address just a few of the common questions that I get, um, and hopefully uh, that will answer your question. <laughs> uh, so one question I get frequently is about collaboratives. Um, perfectly fine to apply as a collaborative. Um, the question usually centers around what are the support materials um, that I should provide. Uh, you should pr provide, um, hopefully, your collaborative that's worked together before, and you have some examples of that work, um, and that's what you would submit. Uh, if not, um, you can put together work samples that encompass uh, both of your work. It doesn't matter how you split up the, the four uh, pieces of content that you give us. Um, but I would make sure that the examples that you give us are somehow supportive of your application um, in that we can see what you've done in the past and how that leads to this new project, how these multiple people coming together um, based on the work that they've done, uh, you know, are making this new project and it, and it makes sense. Uh, for the CV, uh, just submit one document that has um, both of your information there, um, unless you have been working together as a collaborative and you have a collaborative um, CV to provide. Uh, the artist statement and the project description should be uh, based on uh, the proposed project, um, which is from the collaborative, and the artist statement should be based on uh, the ideas behind and the concepts behind the collaborative um, group. Two inv individual artist statements don't make sense um, if you're trying to legitimately apply as a collaborative um, group. Uh, submittable, you know, will make you, um, uh, you know, attach one name to it, um, but it's easy to uh, clearly. Uh, you know, define it within the materials so that we understand that it's a collaborative. Um, unless you you create, you can create a separate submittable account um, under that collaborative name um, if you have a, a shared email address. Uh, so that's a common question. Um, another one, um, you know, centers around uh, the residency. Uh, we did just move to this new space, which you can see behind me. Um, we will find you somewhere to stay in the vicinity of the area. Um, I can't tell you exactly how close it will be, but it will be uh, close enough that it, it won't be difficult for you to get a tune from the gallery. Um, we'll provide you, you know, with, um, you know, um, some uh, funding um, for mileage um, if it's something where you need to either have a car or call an Uber. Um, <clears throat> another thing to kind of keep in mind uh, with this opportunity um, is just in gen the general parameters of what we have to offer. Um, there is the, the set time period, uh, which I already went over of, of what that is. Um, the other thing is we provide you with a $1,500 artist stipend, um, a $1,750 production fund for your proposed project. Um, so again, you know, we're, we're thinking about that in the uh, sense of feasibility with whatever you propose to um, make sure we feel like 
that amount of money is the enough to do whatever you're trying to do. Uh, there's a $500 uh, travel budget for artists that live outside of the area, um, along with um, the housing for the residency period. Um, and then we will give you access to the gallery. Um, we're very flexible in terms of um, you coming in and out of the, the space to do whatever it is that you need to do. Um, so you don't really have to worry about uh, being constrained to like set hours. Um, <clears throat> the high school students will be there um, mostly in the morning um, to the mid-afternoon. Um, and uh, you're welcome to be there when they're there and you're welcome to be there at other times as well. Um, the other very common question, I think we've pretty much fully addressed in this in terms of just the recommendation letter. You don't have to attach it to your application. Um, you could have your professor email it directly to me, um, but it needs to arrive by the deadline. Um, and um, I mean, maybe another question that we're getting this year, just in terms of the space, you can see some of the space behind me here. Um, the the a space is much bigger than our previous uh, location. Um, so there is many spaces within it uh, where you can um, do a project. Uh, so we're looking for ideas that are, are somewhat flexible in terms of space, um, because I think you need to, you know, get to locus projects, um, have that sort of flexible idea, be in the space um, to really, you know, understand and find how and where that project fits in there. Um, those are pretty much the common questions. Other very basic question I think that we covered was uh, who is eligible? You must be currently enrolled in an MFA program. You could be graduating uh, this spring, fine. Uh, you could be in your first semester. You could be in your uh, first year, um, could be in your second year. You may be graduating in the fall, all fine. Uh, you just need to be um, a current MFA student. Um, OK, well, hopefully. Um, one of those was your questions <laughs> and uh, I got to it, but otherwise feel free to email me at submissions at locustprojects.org and I'm happy to um, answer your questions and assist you. So thank you for joining me and um, good luck with your application.